I don't record in the club. Oh, shoot, by the end of this, my stuff would be. <laughs> I mean, whatever you want to do, though, it's up to you. It's your. But where where would it go with the cloud? That's why I said I don't know. <laughs> okay. It's going to go to the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but I don't know if her cloud is configured. I don't know where her cloud is. The cloud, the cloud is the cloud, man. It's everywhere. I know, right? It's in the fridge. <laughs> it's right next to the milk. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're recording on. Are you recording on Zoom yet? Yes, I am. Are you? Okay. Sweet. Yo, so what's up, everyone? So basically, I'm going to show you guys um, everything, about, everything about what is W3 Develops. Uh, I know a lot of new people are coming in here, and you're like, what is W3 Develops? It's like, yeah, I saw this website, or you know, I saw, heard somebody talking about it, where people are like collaborating on projects and building stuff and uh, well, I'm going to tell you what it is. W3 Develops is a whole community of aspiring developers, developers, and whatnot. So this is our website. So if you go here to, w, I'm going to walk you through this. This is the FAQ. This is the how-to of what is W3Develops.org. What is W3Develops, the community? Uh, first of all, uh, I know you can't see me right now. But I am Jonathan Jackson. I'm the founder, the creator. Uh, OK, so you can see me. You can see my picture right now <laughs> on, the, uh, on the Zoom chat. Let me go ahead and uh, so yeah, this is me. I'm not sure. Abby, can you see me? I can see you. OK, yeah, so this is who I am. I'm just a regular guy learning to code with the rest of you guys. Uh, this is our website, w3develops.org. So hello. Uh, so up here, we have the community tab, right? Let me, let me minimize myself. So up there, we have the uh, community tab, right? And this is the link to every, like all of our social media, all of our stuff. So we have a Facebook group, and this is actually where we started. This is like a history of W3 Develops and just like a 15, 30 minute run through of the whole community and what it is and how to use it and just what we do out here and how we collaborate and build projects and just get stuff done and help other people succeed. So about a year or two ago, a year and some, sometime around there, I think it was like 2018, 17, and 17, I really got into coding. I wanted to meet other people that was around me. So I looked uh, for like groups to join. And what I found was free code camp. And they said, go to uh, like one of your meetups or, or said something but like back then it like they had the meetups thing. So I went there and like the meetup, I'm not gonna lie. It was like, it wasn't really active and stuff, but there was like a lot of cool people there. So I'm just like, started my own in my own city right and then i realized oh there's another one and so like instead of deleting it i was just like all right i'll just every, you know it's everybody from all over the world now and i might as well just keep on growing and keep on growing it so it came up with some names i'll be back in a minute okay came up with some, uh, with some names for it we were like uh, what should I name this? Uh, W3 Developer Network or something like that. And just a bunch of names I was throwing out. I asked some people in the community. You know, we have 486 members. We had like 200 and maybe like 200 back then, like 225, 250 or something uh, back when I first started it. And um, like, so 40, that's how much people are here. We have like moderators community managers, just people hanging out here, you know. Um, some of you know, some of them don't really know what's going on in the rest of the community, but they're here in the Facebook group because, you know, like they've always been good here, you know, good to me. They haven't like F me over or anything. You know, they're just decent people that, you know, I'm sure if you would maybe like this is the dude that helped me come up with the name W3 Develops. He's like, yo, 
W3 belt sounds cool. I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to go with that. Rizzo, thank you, dude. <laughs> so, oh, Bart, first dude I interviewed. All these guys are cool, bro. Everybody that's a community manager or moderator, super cool. Um, and then we got a bunch of other people. We have 19 moderators. So they might not know what's going on in the rest of the community because, you know, they got their own stuff that's going on. They might not even know about the cohorts and stuff, but these are educated people who I just chose a few years ago to just, you know, be here, bro. They're, they've been here. So I appreciate them for, you know, just helping me if I have a question and learning and stuff and everybody else that's here too. So that's the Facebook group. So after that, I decided to build a website. This is not what it originally looked like. Originally it looked like it was all custom code. This is my first project. So uh, originally I made a Gitter because Free Code Camp has a Gitter. So I was like, all right, I'll make a Gitter account for W3 Develops. And you know that transitioned over to Slack and then Slack transitioned over to Discord. So Discord, if, I don't know if you heard that beeping in the background, it's Discord. And I'll explain that later. Uh, so right now I'll just explain, yeah, uh, and I'll explain that later because Discord is pretty important that this is where the whole community lives pretty much. That's why I said it. I'll explain it later after I breeze through the rest of our social media, you know, our learning curriculum map, you know, donate. And the sign-in is not working right now, but that's because I haven't linked it. I shouldn't say it's not, working. It's, it's not linked to the actual sign-in because the sign-in is still in beta, uh, the whole back end of the site. But uh, I might just, I might just create like a, like a model uh, where when that's clicked or like an alert or something, when that's clicked that uh, like there'd be different, like you can sign into the forum or the blog or the social network or whatever I still happen to have, which I'll show you guys later. So Discord, well, we already saw Facebook, uh, YouTube, go subscribe to YouTube. We have all of our uh, study group uh, uh, videos. We post them on YouTube. Uh, it's really nice. There's a bunch of cool YouTubers out there that uh, we get to talk to and stuff, you know, like Coding Phase, uh, Dylan Israel. Uh, uh, we're going to do a podcast in May, uh, Jennifer, March. What is this? This is April, yeah, May with uh, Quincy Larson and uh, with uh, Mr. Larson. I don't like to say Quincy Larson, Mr. Larson. And uh, uh, we're going to do that, you know, coding. Uh, like I said, uh, we've had awesome developers on already. Elephidia, great developer. We've had, uh, and I'm talking about the podcast, the people that we've interviewed. We also have a podcast that we do. So I'll show you that. In the podcast, I have a bunch of playlists that I do not share because I'm getting them in order. But uh, if you see, it's loading. But here, I'll go to here. I'll go to our website and I'll just click on podcast to go to our YouTube podcast playlist. Making a uh, RSS so that I can uh, upload it to iTunes and stuff like that. Um. Yeah, so if you want to check out who we've interviewed, you can uh, check here. You know, our first interview was uh, dude was 17, bro. He's 18, uh, VR developer in uh, Poland. Got my dude Bart, uh, I mean, Frank, Frank from Franklin, uh, awesome developer, man. Uh, freelancing, man, doing freelance work like crazy, dude. Um, like I said, we have Dylan Israel, awesome YouTuber dude, and uh, Eleftheria uh, Batsu. She also does, uh, um, she, she's a developer and she makes YouTube videos, dude. So go check her out as well. Um, let's see, so that's our YouTube. And then, oh, let me go back though, because besides that, we also have, like I was saying, on YouTube, we upload the study group. Uh, what is it? We upload the study group sessions, these meetups that we do with the study groups, where like people get together for like five, six hours and go through Free Code Camp and go through Mozilla. So we have the study group playlists as well. And, 
uh, I need a new computer to go faster. So I'm just trying to get some freelance work or job. Donate. We need donations. So go to donate. <laughs> but uh, let's see. So, yeah, uh, learning group. So you can like go to the videos and check it out. But we have, um, uh, cause I'm still up, I'm still, you know, it takes time for me to edit and upload and manage the rest of the community, which I'll show you how much deeper we go. Um, but yeah, study group videos that, you know, come out. You, I, I try to order them the best I can. There's some that I still need to order and fix the descriptions and do this and that. Um, so in the Facebook group, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but you know, you can just go in there if you're on Facebook, ask questions, talk. It's a group, we hang out. We also have a page, a company page. So you can go ahead and uh, throw us a like. And also we do, um, I, I'm starting to do internships where you, if you want like a web developer internship, go check that out there. So that's Facebook, YouTube. Oh yeah, our GitHub. Uh, before I get into GitHub, that's kind of like uh, Discord. So. You know, we went through the podcast. We have a medium, we have uh, which is our blog. So uh, we actually have a handbook that uh, outlines like everything that uh, with the cohorts. You don't know what a cohort is. So W three develops right. We have two forms right here. One for the learning group, so you can learn and study with other people from like for like five hours a day. We want to do it. We want to get something where it's like part time and full time, like three hours and six hours a day you can choose the one and we'll i'm trying to figure out how to write a script so that um like based on that you know the time you want in the your location or or even just the time and, and but also the uh what tier you're in for example if you're uh in a study group and you want to learn html if you're want to be in a javascript study group or if you want to be in a data Visualization study group. It's all different tiers. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm learning JavaScript. I'm just learning JavaScript. So that's, uh, you know, uh, and you would like to help out with that. You definitely need help with that to um, alleviate some of the congestion. People. Uh, so that's one form. So it'll take you to a Google form. And uh, if you click on the Google form, it will, uh, I need to make that pop up in another thing, but basically just fill this out and uh, you'll be, uh, I'll, I'll hit you up, like it, I'll get that. And whenever we start the uh, next study group, which is at the beginning of the month, we can do that, but I'm trying to come up with a script so we can start it as soon as the groups are filled, we can just start that. So also we have build projects. So the study groups you're learning on MDN, Mozilla Developer Network, which is right here in the map. Learning right here. And you're also learning on free code camp. Now, if you're learning on HTML or if you're learning with JavaScript, uh, it depends on what tier you are in. Remember, all this is free. We're not charging you anything for this. That's all we say. Please donate. You know, doing this the best I can. Uh, I try. Uh, I want to see you guys succeed. I want to see you guys get there. I want to. I want to. I want to be able to help you guys build something. And uh, so, like right now, I'm learning JavaScript, so we would be going through this. And uh, basically, each person that's in your study group would take turns reading the page and going through the project. And you guys would be there with each other. And then the same thing would go. Would would would. The same thing would happen with a uh, free code camp. You would read. Each person would take turns reading a challenge. And you guys would go through that. And that's what the study group is. Uh, now for the cohort, the cohorts is where you guys from all across the country build projects together. You're not necessarily at a fixed time, but you're more along the lines of in a team. And uh, at the same state, it's the same thing. You're in a team, but now your team, like what your team is doing, is your team is coming together. Like every, like you guys are using GitHub and stuff to and get and you guys are building projects in a team environment based on you know tier again html css or 
JavaScript or data visualization. And we have much more things that we want to add. I want to add such as um, digital marketing, uh, just a bunch of stuff like, uh, you know, different, if we scroll down the website, uh, I can explain more in detail, you know, web security, web design. I want to have a web design cohort. These, these are to come. Right now we just have web developer. I want to have a data scientist one for you guys, an e-commerce one. I want to get all that for you guys for that, you know, just to, that's what I want to learn. That's why I'm doing this because I want to learn how to do this. And I want to have something that's free and that I can build and, you know, learn and use this. And that's why I'm doing this. And um, that's why I give it out for free. And so learn together and you know without having to pay uh, arm and leg for it that's why we use free code camp you know i want to donate five to ten uh 2.5 to five percent to five percent of everything i get to free code camp and 2.5 to five percent of everything i get also to another 2.5 five percent to mozilla developer network just for being what they are free and open source <clears throat> that's why we are free and open source as well so uh back to the community all right, so yeah, so I was saying the cohorts, right? So yeah, so you'll do that and I'll email you back once the cohorts are ready. Um, again, I'm working on a script that can just pair them up by the time they want, you know, by time zone. Actually, in that case, it'll be like time zone and by tier, uh, maybe groups of eight. Somebody can figure out how to do that. And like maybe print it out on like another HTML page on the website. That would be great. I don't know how to do that. You know, much appreciated. Anyways, that's that. You know, you can go down the uh, website, see a little bit more process. That's what we want to learn. I want to make this into like an ESPN kind of thing where it keeps track of the teams and like scoreboards. Uh, so I'll show you the rest of the website. Uh, the behind the scenes that nobody else really sees when they don't know what to look for uh, later. But for now, I'm going to keep going through the socials. So Medium, the cohort, you have the cohort handbook on here. I'm actually in the process of uploading. Um, but, you know, as you see, I have a lot of other stuff going on. So it takes a little while. Uh, podcast, Medium, Twitter. Yeah, dude, check us out on Twitter. You know, we post occasional things, you know. We like talking to everybody on Twitter. Same thing with Instagram. Uh, we try to go live as often as we can and post as often as we can. So the Learn is Mozilla Developer Network. Mozilla Deve Developer Network. And uh, like I said, it's where we come here and learn in the study groups. Um, and that set amount of time each day. In, in the study groups, they learn. You know, they learn. And uh, usually they record it and put it on YouTube. Um, but they learn together about two to six hours a day, three to six hours a day together with a, a 10 minute break between each hour of reading on free code and developer network. And uh, so went through all that. So the GitHub, very important. And then I'm gonna show you the Discord after that. So with the GitHub, not a lot of people really know, but we have a whole GitHub and everything. You know, we have issues that you can go in there and check out what needs to be done, contribute some code. You can send a pull request. On our YouTube, we have a video on how to use Git and GitHub. And so if you know HTML and CSS or Bootstrap or JavaScript, PHP, whatever, you can go and actually contribute the code and send a pull request. Uh, we have project boards. Uh, and also, we have different organizations on here as well. So um, I've created not only this organization, the W3 Develops organization, but I also have, uh, we also have the, we, so we have the W3 Develops organization. We have the W3 Develops cohorts organization. We have the, and then when I started the study groups in January, we started a, OSD, which is like an open source dragons organization where we're just hanging out. Uh, and then we started another one the next month. And then I just turned it now, I just turned it into W3 Develops University. So the W3 Develops study groups have the W3 Develops University organization, right? They, get, they have a W3 Develops GitHub organization where they can um, 
like all the projects they build and stuff, it'll be right there. And the uh, W3 Develops cohorts have the same thing. So if you see a dragon on the W3 Develops uh, organization, just know that uh, you guys are dragons. You guys are fire breathing dragons, getting stuff done, conquering the land. Roar. <laughs> so yeah, dude. So basically the three organizations you would uh, be able to join is the, if you, you contribute to our actual website in the code base, which we would really appreciate because we need to help, uh, is the W3 development. I'm sure I want to build more stuff to show people how to do this. But so we have the W3 develops organization, one, W3 develops cohorts organization, two, the W3 develops university organization, three. So that's GitHub. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, so like I said, you can contribute to our code base there. It's not hard, it's just like a template. So now what I'm gonna show you is Discord. And then I'm gonna show you some, like, some other parts to our website. I'm gonna go there now, so I remember once I get done with Discord. Discord might be the most awesome, best, spectacular, amazing thing about our website. I remember about our, well, besides you guys, but this is where we all hang out and this is where we all get work done. And this is where we post the links for the study groups. This is where we post the links for, uh, this is where the cohorts come and talk to each other. So this right here, where it says cohorts, the cohorts, I don't like, I don't know if I should put the builders, or, but this is where the cohorts category is. So if you click that, you can see all the channels if you're on Discord and you can, so what that means is channel is this right here, right? So you have a text channel and then, you know, they have a cohorts resources channel where they talk to each other and go through the, submit their project and when they're done, and I mean, not talk to each other, but that's where the resources are. And I have about six steps I made, six or seven steps I made that, you know, pretty much details how to go through a cohort. And like, uh, so for example, step one, you filled out the form to let us know that you want to join. Step two, you filled out the builder's pledge, which I emailed to you after you filled out the form. Three, you got paired into a team. There's your link. Step four, if you had any issues with inactive members, you put it there in the tickets. A lot of people don't read. Step five, you are not lazy and actually read the cohort handbook and schedule, cohort week in PM Rock. Uh, so 700 individuals are not asking what to do, what projects you should learn. Because like you should, you would not believe how many emails I get. Like if people just read, and I understood because sometimes I didn't read things. Uh, so, and then I have the cohort handbook, which is on Medium, uh, the schedule, uh, and then uh, some wikis for project managers and cohort members uh, that are on GitHub. All right, so when you join a cohort, you would read that and then you would be ready to start collaborating with the team. Uh, you would decide on the project manager. Uh, I'm actually gonna get rid of step six because project managers a lot of times people just stop being active, so I can't really depend on people to be project managers. Uh, so I'm just gonna have people. We're just all gonna be people. I guess there's no managers because life happens. So, and then seven, you, you begin your project and complete your weekly check-ins that I send out every seven days. I don't really send it out every seven days because I have so much other stuff going on. Um, you know, I should, if I had more time and just more, there's more of me, I'd be able to do that. Uh, if you wanna get more active in that process and just help out some, uh, be cool, let me know. So number eight, finish your project and send the link here, which is in the link right there, All right? Everything's pretty much here, like the links and stuff. So when I do launch the cohorts, the build to learn cohorts, where you build projects with remote teams, when I, when, when I launch those, like you follow this process and go through the links that I sent. So that's a cohort. And now, because I haven't been launching them, because I just haven't had time, and a lot of people have been missing out because I just haven't had time. And I quit my job to do this like four months ago uh, from working as a paver. Uh, 
like uh, doing Vanilla Ice's house and stuff and all that whatnot. I figured I'm just gonna go code full time, man. So uh, if you want a teammate now, uh, if you want a team now, you'd go there and just say, hey, I want a team. If you want a teammate, you'd go there and say, I want a team. I'm not going to code full time. I'm working for it and coding. Yeah, bro, I got to, I got to, I'm about to get a job again, bro. Yeah, I got a job like a week ago. Yeah, nice, dude. Uh, congratulations. Uh, so, yeah, with the learning group. Not a way with them. Not it doesn't pay the bills, bro. So, you know, you got to pay the bills, bro. So yeah, we got the learning group, uh, Dragon Text Channel, Dragon Resources. So the Dragons, this is basically the st the learning group, right? So this was, you know, we had the text channel, the resources, CSS and HTML, JavaScript, just, uh, and you know, tier one is for HTML, tier two is for CSS, I mean, for uh, J uh, JavaScript. Uh, and then we had the daily check-ins for the study groups. And I should just revamp this for, in, but, uh, so yeah, that's in the learning group channel. And I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys the voice channel. We have a voice channel where you can hop in and talk to people. Uh, code jams, you can come in here and play music. You know, you can go here. Now I'm in the voice channel right now. And then where it says voice text, I would go there, right? I click on right here. And then I would like, click play, I would type play. You know, uh, I put an exclamation point play and then the name of the video. Uh, Amelie. <laughs> I type that in, right? And that would play. Let me log out of the voice chat. I didn't, so it's not going to do it. But And right here, chopping it up, you can go in here and talk to people in the chat. You, you know, you can just like, yo, what's up? Let's talk, dude. Let's hop in the voice, voice text, Wait. chopping it up. <laughs> channel voice channel so then we have a uh, yeah i'm kind of going backwards a little bit but we have primary channels or so for the information right let me start at information we have the information so basically when you join you end up right here in the join log and you see everybody that joins then you would probably then what you would i would want you to do is i would want you to go here to the welcome and read my welcome message to you guys. Just, you would realize, you would read that. Here are links to channels you might be looking for. Add your intros, community chat, Dragon Text channel, which I should just change to study group. I'm gonna change all that Dragon stuff to study group text channel. And I'll probably change cohort to build to learn or build or projects, build projects, resources, something like that. I gotta figure out a name. If you can figure out, a, you know, have an idea for a name, go ahead and leave it right here in the feedback. <laughs> we have a feedback channel right here in the information channel, right? So I ask you to, you know, leave information here. Uh, leave, if you have any feedback on the website or the community or anything like that, you know, go to the feedback and leave some information there. Uh, latest videos, you know, when we drop videos that, you know, I think are really nice or something that benefit everybody, not just every study group video, but just any video, really. Uh, I'd put it right here. Maybe I should put every study group video in here. Uh, you know, if you want, you, uh, well, I, I wouldn't really say I'd just give access to everybody there because then a bunch of other videos would be right there. Uh, so then I, I make my announcements right here. Uh, I try to keep them like keep it as minimal as possible uh, but like you know just for like what's important you know shout out to every, at everyone and when you do a at everyone on discord you that's that's why you hear the beeping because there's people that are at everyone and like not just on my channel but on other discord servers as well when they're at everyone and you know and that's what that beep is. So that's what information is, right? That's the information category. Now what you can do. Uh, so uh, also you have your intros. So you can add your intros here. You know, we love to hear your intros. Uh, we'll got you and whatnot. So we have primary channels, right? So that's the primary channels about what the group is about, right? You know, what we're here for learning, talking about, discussing, right? Web development. So we have the community chat where you just come hang out and talk to each other. 
you know, leave a message at mention someone, you know. Uh, so you have Techie Elliot, right? You can at Techie Elliot to mention him, uh, and that, that'll happen. You know, it'll, it'll, you'll hear that. He'll hear that beep and get a little dot right there that says you have a message. Okay, so uh, uh, somebody asked for help, right? They at Jonathan me. So I did. So basically, I send all the emails myself and I send all the social medias and all this other stuff, right? So people be like, yo, bro, I saw this thing somewhere. So a lot of people don't know, like I'm the guy that does all this stuff. So, you know, we have other people that have been in the other cohorts and study groups that really just shout us out and stuff, but I'm kind of the guy that has control over all the accounts. Uh, so let's see. Uh, he was telling me that he sent me an email and I didn't respond, but I did respond after I saw that he sent me that. So, you know, you got command line, you should learn command line. If you're a web developer, you should learn Git and GitHub, right? That's why these are here. You should learn hosting, you should learn HTML, CSS, and you should have a resume and you should know wireframes. That's why I keep these right here. And I also just recently added this, a daily meetup link, right? So we're gonna have daily meetups. I don't think I actually posted that there. Ebby, I should have told you to post it in the daily meetup link uh, channel. My bad. <laughs> but uh, anyways, so we have secondary channels. And so the secondary channel, I gotta add, I'm probably gonna get rid of the secondary channel. I just didn't know where to put this stuff. So I'm gonna clean up the learning group channel category and just change these channel names and stuff. And I'm gonna put all these study groups here into the learning group category just to make some room because there are a lot of categories, right? And I'll explain them more later on. This is the community. This is where we get stuff done and it's free and we just learn together and build together and, you know, make it a community. This is yours. This isn't mine. This is, you know, I'm just the guy that's making stuff happen. You guys are the ones that's really getting it done, right? Like, like y'all the ones that make the community what it is to learn together, build together, get jobs, you know, get internships here. I want to have meetups. We're gonna, gonna be launching meetups here. Once I get some time, once I get my license, like 2,500 for my license, uh, we're gonna be on and rolling across all of Florida. And also I'm gonna have a great job. So we will be flying to different places and you guys are gonna, I'm gonna give you guys access to have your own meetups and stuff like this. But right now that's the daily online meetup. So secondary channels, uh, April study group. And I'll, like, I wanna build something for the website where it's like, it connects like all the meetups all across. Like I just keep track of them. Like I keep track of all the free code camp meetups and I have like a thing. And then like all the code newbie meetups and all the girl coded meetups and all the whatever other meetup is out there at the college and stuff like that. Meetup, meetup. Just keep a list of them all in kind of like a Craigslist for meetups kind of like meetup.com but you know our own thing and it's free so april study group this is the study group for this month if you sign if you remember i told you guys about the study groups uh so w3 the study group you filled that out applied for it you got accepted into a study group well this is you know like i said the other study group is supposed to be Voice chat. So, the study groups are supposed to be in learning in the study. I'm gonna name this from learning group. I'm gonna change it to study group after I get off the call. This learning group category. I'm gonna change that to study groups. I like study groups better. I'm gonna erase dragons. So, anyways, basically, so these the April learning group study group and the Tamari JavaScript study group and the Elliot study group. Those are gonna go in the learning group, and those are just learning groups that are going on this month. Uh, Tamari is in California. He was doing his from five to 11 or five to 10. Uh, I am in Florida and I'm doing mine every day. From six from seven to 11. Last month we were doing it for the last three months we were doing it from six to 11 or six to 12. And Tamari actually, he's on the call with us right now. It's me, Tamari and uh, Abizel. Uh, well actually he had left. But 
that's what we're doing. Uh, like he saved the study groups, dude. Like, like Pat P. He's a he, he was in the original study group. Uh, that's a that's Adam Abuna 002. That's Adam. Pat P. Samari, uh, Techie Elliot, uh, Water. Le uh, these are all uh, community managers. Water Legend, community manager. Um, they pretty much know what's going on. Water Legend might not know everything that's going on, but he's like a heavy duty dude I trust that, you know, is pretty active on GitHub whenever I need him, uh, which is always nice, bro. I really appreciate everything. Uh, you know, helping out on GitHub is such a huge thing because it's like I do, I build the website and all this stuff, like, and I'm still learning and doing all this other stuff. So whenever I can get help, it's really useful. And it would look really nice on your rep on your resume. It was so cool. I noticed it. It was weird, bro. Out of nowhere, he comes along, he starts contributing to the GitHub. And then like he gets a job out of nowhere. I'm like, bro, I need to start like contributing to some open source, bro. Cause that's where it's at, dude. Like that. thank you. Uh so yeah, we have the study groups right there that I'm gonna switch over here in this learning group category. We have a free code get free code camp. Uh, uh, channel. I'm probably gonna delete that because nobody really uses it. Java study group. I'm probably gonna put that in the study group. And then let's pair freelance. That was a like a thing. Nobody really uses it. Like if you want to freelance, you can pair together and like work on some freelance. Pro find somebody to freelance and make some money with. Uh, nobody really uses it though. Some people use it. I guess nobody really knows that it's there. Then we have a makers category too. And the makers, you know, nobody uses this, but this is like uh, me personally. This is like I said, it's kind of like I I made this just because I, you know, I made this the community because it's like something I would like to use. So makers, you know, tech makers, robot people that make robots, people that you know are you into uh, that that make stuff, you know, like fix and fixers and tinkerers and DIYers and stuff like that. just makers, you know, printing out three D printers stuff with 3D printers and stuff. Make a 3D printer with a 3D printer, yeah. <laughs> All that stuff. Maker, little right. well, group for you guys. I'm not forgetting about you. Uh, I wanna go to Burning Man one day and just give you guys a bunch of stuff made of 3D printed glass figurines made out of sand. You know, makers. <laughs> and we have miscellaneous resources. Uh, just any resources that you think would be beneficial. So, okay. So you know about the learning group, which I'm gonna change the study group. Uh, here, you know, like I said, they have the daily check-ins, the daily projects, they have the homework, uh, the tier three. I forgot what tier three was. I think that was just another tier. Oh yeah, that was the guys that moved on to like React and stuff from JavaScript. Uh, so they went from Timo to JavaScript to like React and stuff. Neat. Uh, then it's like, you know, I kind of got busy. So I was like, yo, just start your own. I was going to say for May, just start your own study group. We have study groups going on right now, by the way. So I was like, you know, just start your own study group. Um, you know, if somebody's there, like, you know, you know, People like, hey, do you want to start a data science study group? He's like, I am. Cool, bro. That's so cool. So I guess they got something going on. Uh, and, you know, like, if something's going on, contact me. Let me know what's going on. And I'll, you know, bro, you'll be like a community manager or something, bro. You'll be managing the community. So, you know, you'll have your own study group and stuff, right? You'll, you'll be a part of this, you know. As long as I can trust you and you're not somebody that's going to F anything up, dude. It's like there's no reason not to have you part of the community, bro. It's all about success. I, like Wolfie said, man, I love how he put it, bro. I want to see everyone succeed. That's what we do here. So the cohorts, uh, that remember this is the build to learn cohorts. So I explained that earlier. These are your channels. So I link you up with teams. I put you guys in teams, right? So I told you guys that I put you in teams and that's why I have to make a script so that I can put you guys in teams automatically and make it easier on me. So I have to go in here and create all this stuff and do all this, make all the GitHub repos and send all the shout outs and do all this stuff, bro. It's a lot of emails and make it easier. 
<laughs> so anyways, these are your teams. You just got to go in here and talk to the people and just be active. It's like if I can be active doing all this, you guys should be active doing all this and just getting your projects done. I can't be on your case 24-7 to get it done. So if your team fails, I mean, say I want a team member. Say I want another team. You know, it's up to you to succeed in here now because, you know, that's why I did that. I had to take it off of me a little bit and just put it back on you, bro. Like, you got to be a big boy out here, big girl out here and get stuff done, you know. Can't hold your hand forever. Got to get yourself off the treadmill. You lead the horse to water. But anyways, so now we have front end, the category, front end category, which is a bunch of stuff, right? You know, a bunch of resources, back end. Maybe I should name it front end resources and back end resources category, right? I'll probably do that. Then we got entrepreneur resources category. You can go in here and just type in a bunch, like go look, you know, if you have something interesting, please share it, you know? This is just a bunch of stuff that I find interesting. Resources, stuff that'll, you know, it's kind of like a notepad, right? That's what this basically is for me. My notepad, my giant notepad that you guys contribute to, it's your giant notepad that I contribute to. You know, we have the databases, if you, are learning databases, you don't need to have any resources about databases and stuff, post it in here. I always, I try to post as much as I learn in here, you know, to help other people, help myself, you know, go back and just know that it's there, you know, cybersecurity, you know something about something, go ahead and put something in there. Resources, data science resources, you know, um, Linux resources, you know, we have the Linux category, Linux resources, Put some info in there. We want to know. We want to hear what's up. We want to learn. The game development resources. You know, like I said, the first podcast I did was with Bart. He was 17, 18, dude, working at a VR company. He's doing mixed reality, alternate reality, and another type of reality, virtual reality right now. <laughs> Man, he's not even out. I don't even know if he's out of high school yet, dude. But dude is kicking butt, bro. So, you know, I made that category with him in mind. I was like, dude. There's got to be more people that are interested in stuff like that. So I'm making that category. Then we have the mobile mobile apps category. And these are all like study groups and resources I want to like eventually get going down the line. But, and, you know, I, I try the best I can with no resource, with, with you know, the limited resources I have. Uh, to date, we have not had anybody donate any cash to W3 Develop. So please go and donate. We really appreciate it. Donate some code to get, donate some time, uh, other than just participating, but participating is the key as well. So what I'm aiming at is for the cohorts, we wanna give you guys some bots, right? So, and thank you, Ebby, right now for being here, because when you guys are here like this and just, you know, my my my, my, my recorder right now, my, my stream recorder, my, my, oh, my stream labs, what I use to record and, and stream to YouTube, it's not working right now for some reason. So Abby is actually taking, helping me out big time by she downloaded Streamlab uh, OBS and, uh, and you know, she just went through this whole process to help me <clears throat> record. So it's all like a team effort, you know. Um, I don't know what's wrong with it, but I'm gonna troubleshoot as soon as I get off. So what was I saying? Yeah, we have game development uh, resources, mobile apps resources, embedded systems resources. So embedded systems, that's like microcontrollers or uh, stuff that like, you know, you can just like embedded systems. Go look it up if you don't know what it is. Uh, chat, and then for the cohorts, making challenge bots, right? So like not for the cohorts, but I'm going to make all like challenge bots and stuff. Even if nobody else makes these, I'm going to make them. But I want the cohorts to make all, like challenge bots and stuff like that where they go in here and like build uh bots and stuff right because they're already building bots so i like have some bots that i'm like yo if you can build this bot it would also help the community right for discord so these are discord bots for like you know a hacker ring keep track of your hacker rank score or a code combat bot keep track of your code combat. you know 100 days of code bot. keep track of that right stuff you guys would like to use i would like to use um And then we have server stats down here. I kind of try to take the, I don't, I had it at the top. I didn't really want it at the top anymore. Cause I was like, you know, we don't really need the server stats like front and center like that. It doesn't matter really like, cause I, like it doesn't matter 
people you can have in here, like have in here, you know, because if I wanted, like, I can just go and get like a super ton of people to just come in here and just, but it's like, no, I, that's just more work on me. So it's like, I'm trying to just build it up from what I can right now to get it so that when more people do come, it's easier on them and me and everything's already laid out. Like today, we were working on a, um, we were doing a study group and it was kind of cool because today we didn't actually, you know, usually it's just straight work, pounding it out, no side detours, no side tracks, no other resources, just again, we can't get it done. But we were actually, uh, I, I got a little sidetracked, like I, not that I got sidetracked today, but, um, you know, I realized like people didn't know like who I was that I was like even the one that like kind of set all this stuff up. Uh, so it's like, uh, like they didn't really know how to, so they didn't know how to use the community really. And so I kind of just, you know, I, I told them I would make this video like on telling them, telling you guys what this is all about, what this community is, what we do here, we build projects, we learn, we get stuff done. You know, if you're an active member, I'll give you access to the YouTube. So if you start a study group, you can, you know, if you start a study group, you can uh, stream to YouTube, your study group, you know? Like, I'll trust you. As long as you don't break my trust, there's no reason for me not to trust you. It's like, I'll give everyone a chance. If I see that you're active and not just like some random dude, like, hey, give me access to that thing. I'm like, it's like, well, first of all, I haven't received an email from you that you're starting. Seeing you in a study group, you know, you know, you're not taking the initiative and sending the, doing the Zoom link on your phone if I'm not there to do it for you. So, you know, why would I trust you? You know, if you're saying you want to do this every day and you're not even here one day, why would I trust you? What would be the initiative for me to risk my, you know, what I'm building here? Let me find my charger. All right, here it is. You know, so it's like, it's kind of like a, you know, it's, it, it's kind of like weeding through, right? It's like, by the time it would have taken you to scam me, right? You would have already helped a, a, a bunch of people learn and help you. And I would see that you're actually doing this. And either, either way, you wouldn't be hurting me that bad because I'm protected. A little bit at least, you know, just by that process. So anyways, when you click the sign in, right, what it's going to lead to, and uh, we have a bunch of different, uh, not CPAN, uh, web hosting. So I'm gonna show you some other things we have on the website, right? And the, way, the reason I do that is because the fact that I'm just protecting these, I'm protecting everybody else as well. So yeah, oh, we also have a Reddit, right? So that's like our forum. So you can go check us out on Reddit. It's kind of like a community forum. I should put it on here. Uh, so yeah, I showed you guys all that. Uh, yeah, so let me uh, show you guys what I'm, what features I'm building into the website. Some features that I'm building into the website are, let me find soft topics apps. All right, so we have w3develops.org forward slash pro. Um, we have w3develops.org uh, forward slash marketplace, which is like a job board, kind of like Craigslist. I'm building a forum, w3develops.org forward slash forum and w3develops.org forward slash blog, where it's gonna be like a community blog. So I'm building, a, you know, you guys are gonna be able to, when I have you see how much I have on my plate so one time I just try to do you know I'm building this with WordPress I think you know just to have a little WordPress experience on my site and also because WordPress is made for blogs right so why not make a community blog for you guys out of WordPress a site uh, you know some 
you know, it makes sense to me to make a blog out of a blog site, use the blog site, CMS for what it's worth, get a little experience while I'm at it. So yeah, um, besides that, this is gonna be the community blog for you guys where you can post your own blogs. slash blog still in progress, one time I work on it. And then this will be the actual forum where like uh, kind of like uh, the free code camp forum where just stuff that's going on, you'll be able to come in here and post your issues with what's going on. Uh, yes. Um, you'll be able to log in. So right now you can actually log in. All this works, but I'm just not, it's not on the site. There's no links to it. So nobody really knows about it. I, I haven't promoted, like I haven't promoted it. I haven't added anything in our navigation bar on w3develops.org that tells us, hey, we have this, so nobody really knows. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out right now how to get it so that, so, so for example, you see we have w3develops.org, then the blog, right? So you guys will be able to log in here, and I'm trying to figure out how to get it so that the login here, the WordPress will work on here, for this uh, subdomain, um, it has a different login. I think it's still with PHP. And then we have the marketplace right here too with a different login as well with PHP also. Um, so the blog, it, all this is really under construction. Jobs, I want to get this, I, I want to figure out, I'm, I got to learn a little PHP so I can edit this and get it so that, like, I, I have people that want to post developer jobs on our job board. It's just up to me to figure out, you know, and this is why we need volunteers, you know, help. Because uh, I don't know PHP, I don't know any programming language. I know HTML and CSS, and I'm learning JavaScript, I know Git. And I know how to find answers. I know how to find people who do like, I know as a beginner what I want to know, what would be beneficial to me to get a job. So I figured I would make a job board and it works. And you can publish your ads here. Like I said, I'm not promoting it yet. I just did this like maybe last month or something and nobody really knows about it. You got, it's, it's a work in progress. By the time like you hear about this in the future, like this all will probably have blown up or I'll, you know, uh, yeah, uh, no matter how many years, you know, if, even if it's years down the line, like I'm working on this and getting it done, even if I have to do it all on my own, I'm doing it, getting it done. So also you can see you have a for sale in real estate and all this stuff. I'm gonna take some of this stuff off of here, but really just the jobs part, you know, but you know, I do it all on my own because other people are here. And well, so we're all getting stuff done. I really want us all to eat. Like I want us to get to the top of this and just succeed. So like I said, we have people that are hosting. They they have jobs for us, but nobody's really like, I gotta, I gotta, not nobody, but just, I have to figure out, you know, at the moment, so many people are busy on their jobs that I gotta figure out on my own at the moment until future notice how to do this how to edit this so that people can post jobs and stuff, how I can take jobs off of Indeed and take jobs off of Craigslist forever and just backfill jobs from on there. And then I have people on LinkedIn who wanna put jobs on here for us as well. I wanna get it so that we have interns who are actually going in here and just knocking out freelance work, you know, getting paid, even official. You know, developers at jobs, you guys would be able to come in here and pick up freelance work. You know, all it, all it takes is a little help, guys. We just need a little bit of help. Uh, so, yep, you know, that's that. Like I said, you can log in here and then you can post and do all this stuff here. You know, if you want to help me get all this organized, so it's just like W3 develop stuff, like jobs, and you have necessities where I don't need babies on here, so you can help me. Just learn the PHP and I can trust you. I'll help you. I mean, I was, I was up. Just a little. 
little, little work, little, little help. Look, all right, so another thing we have, right? And this might be the coolest thing at all. So we're pretty much at the end of the video now. I saved the best for last. So if you made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back because you kind of know what W3 Develops is. You know, you get the gist, I believe. You know, you first of all, you should know before, you know, before you start an HTML or a CSS study group or cohort, go on YouTube and watch our Git video. It's called Day Zero Git. So go on YouTube and type in Day Zero Git command line uh, W3 develops. You know, W3 develops Git Day Zero Git command line. Type that in, type that in, and you know what? Trust me, in two hours, you'll learn Git. VS code and maybe a better So best for last, this right here is our social social network, right? So I actually have a whole social network on the site. Uh, in addition to all this other stuff, that's why I say, you should, as you see, it's like you log in and it's its own login. So I got to figure out how to connect all these logins. I don't know how to do that. So we'll get it figured out in the future. I like to say we, I say we, but it's really, like, I don't like to say just I, I like to say we, because it's a community, you know? Even if, like, I'm the only one doing it, it's like, we, like some, some king shit, you know, some you know, royalty shit, like we, my, you know, us, we, we do this, the kingdom, wah. <laughs> yeah, dude, like, yeah. have, uh, we have this right here, right? It's um, the links, dude. And sorry, it's a little late, it's two o'clock in the morning, so excuse me for my drowsy. But we have links, or uh, why am I saying we have links? I have to figure out how to edit this, right? It's entirely built, everything on here works. So like the posts and you know all this stuff right here, like your friends list, it'll show right there. You know, you can click friends and see your friends and stuff. It's kind of like a Facebook, but for W3 developers, for developers. That's what I wanted. I wanted like, you know, so uh, the reason I actually like got this social network was because it had the groups. So, you know, we have cohorts and we have study groups. So I figured instead of just using Discord, we can also use this right here where you can have your own study groups here. You can have your own local meetups thing here. You know, just stuff like that, and you know, it'll evolve over time to where it really is something special. Right now, I have not advertised it at all. I've actually reset it and reinstalled it a couple of times because it's uh, this whole thing's a template, an open source template um, uh, that I installed. And uh, so, yeah, as you can see, you know, you have friends, your friends thing right here. You have your timeline. Uh, you know, you have photos, uh, you have notifications, you have your messages. Um, I guess you can invite friends. Let me check that out. You can invite friends. Oh, that's neat. I didn't know that. That's really cool. And so then yeah, you can add a group, right? So like, let's say you just, you're in a study group now. So, uh, April. Uh, John's April. Actually, I don't like using spaces, so I'm gonna just use either uh, hyphen. I think that's a hyphen, hyphen, or a, or just use camel case. So we'll just use camel case. John's April. John's April study group. Yeah, I like that. Or can or or the or the hyphen, you know would be nice to or actually no because I think you can search the site right so since you can search the site let me check something let me see if you I can search the site I can search the site all right cool so yeah just make it regular so I'm just gonna add a group John's group or you would just we would just call it like April study or like once this is all built, it'll be like different study groups going on at the same time. So it'll be like five, I don't know. I would have to like figure out how we would name the study groups. But like for the cohorts, for the build to learn teams, you know, it'd be like team, 
you have tier one, right? Just name it tier one for HTML. Tier one team. You know, and then there would be like five or ten other teams, right? In tier one. And eventually it'll just be hundreds of different teams. Uh, but they'll all be in tier one, tier two, or tier three. And remember, tier two is like JavaScript and tier three is like that application. And these could change, but for now that's just what they are. Um, and for tiers, we might just name them like HTML and CSS, team one, uh, or JavaScript, team one, or yeah, I think instead of tiers, actually use the names of them eventually. But so let's just save that. And I actually misspelled I misspelled the group name, but that's okay. Because I think we yeah, that's cool. We can just go to settings and change the name of the group, right? Super easy just like that. Okay. You can make a cover photo, you can see your members. Okay. And uh yeah, so you have your group right there, you know, in the groups category. Boom, baby. You know, and this, uh, that way, you know, we can have Discord and we have this, you know? So, hey guys, like, this is what it is, man. This is what we're doing out here. This is our community. I hope you understand that, like, you know, this is just a little gist, a little, this is me, like, letting y'all know a little something. I don't know everything you don't know. You know, hit me up at w 3 developers at gmail.com for questions and answers about whatnot. But, you know, I'm, you know, I'm the founder. I'm the guy that's done all this. I'm, you know, it's, we're, we're, we're not affiliated with anything. We're solo. There's no one giving us grants. There's no one giving us scholarship, nothing like, you know, my people, them, y'all, my W3 developers, there's no one giving me that. But for y'all, you guys are getting that stuff because you guys are, actively doing all this other stuff, man. Like, you know, applying for jobs and applying for scholarships. And I want to help y'all do that. That's why I'm building all this. So that it will be, you know, less of a struggle for the future generation. So, you know, and I can just help more people and help myself. Cause I want this for myself too, not just for the future generation, but you know, for the future years to come, you know, cause why be in purgatory for 30 years when I could just help everybody out, you know, like a Facebook for developers in a way with even more features <laughs> um, for web developers and programmers and, you know, so that's, um, that's that. So let me show you the search too. I, I want to see if I can search this tier one, team two. Oh, it's there. That's so cool. I gotta learn PHP so I can start editing this. I learn JavaScript first, basic JavaScript. Going over in the study groups. Uh, yes, you guys be past me, bro, because I'd be stuck on the website and doing all this other stuff. You guys just gotta focus on your stuff, man. So, like, I just my, my, I do all this really because it just benefits me. It, like, not that it benefits me, but it just. What keeps me going, even though I'm not making any money, even though my learning is being hindered a bit from this sometimes, what I gain is I get to see you guys cross the finish line. I get to know that I helped in a way with that without charging you an arm and a leg. While you're still in a community of people with, with people that you're building lifelong friendships with, the people that I've been in the study groups with is you're spending six hours a day with people. So that right there is a bond and a friendship that is real. You know, if, you, if you're there every day, six hours a day, six days a week, you know, that's, that's, that's more time than people need to be spending with people. So, and the fact that you're learning it and progressing and on track, and getting stuff done, taking advantage of the time and making the best of it, it really speaks wonders for 
the bonds and what that that grow, and that's why we are such a tight community. When people actually finish what they start, is because sometimes you might be the last person standing, but still, if you have access to the YouTube and stuff, stream it. If you have, if you can start Zoom, post the link, even if it's you. Other people will join. This is our community. You shouldn't be waiting. Like if I disappear tomorrow, if you know something happens to me, I end up in the hospital or anything. You know, it shouldn't be on me. You know, the creator of this whole community to have to post the link for your study group. It should be on you as the individual to post it. You know, if I, you know, that's how the community. And that's what it's actually grown to, which I'm thankful for to Pat and Tamari and Elliot and uh, DK and Philoxo in the Discord and stuff like that, that they've gone through that where I was there. You know, Sarinka, I can't really say her name, but just a bunch of you guys. Tech, Techie Mino, you know, she started some. You know, uh, the, bro, there's a bunch of you in the HTML study groups that did it, bro, without me, that I'm so proud of you guys from last month. Like you guys definitely that finished it deserve like a medal, but I'm not sure if you guys actually finished it all the way to the end and got the projects done. I gotta check on you guys with that one once I figure out like once I get some time man. But see that's what I'm saying. Like they they put up like 18, 19, 20 videos. So I think they did finish it actually, dude. At least they went 20 days or something. People from China are here, you know, that are from America over there in China, sitting there, they're with us guys from India, Asia, Pakistan, Europe, Russia, every country, America, South America, Canada, Hawaii, you know, everywhere. We're going to be in every state. We're in every country. It's amazing what the internet is and just how small the developer community really is. And that's why I'm doing this because once you realize it, it's like, it's so cool, dude, just to be able to like, you know, I want to build this community where like, there'll be a group, like there'll be like a meetups category, right? And like people can just search for like their city and like, like, well, maybe not even that, but just like maybe have like a whole nother category or something, a whole nother subdomain where it's just like a meetups thing. And like there would be a link right here that, that clicks on meetups and we'll go to that page and we would keep track of all the meetups that I was saying we would keep track of earlier, the code newbie and the recode camp and the college, whatever meetups, scrape stuff, just get meetups in their area and they type in their zip code. And that's the kind of stuff I want to build this community into. A developer, a, a programmer, and just digital, you know, a digital minded person's paradise. Right, and that's what this is going to be once I'm finished with it. It's all in progress, and that's why it's tough on me to do a lot of this stuff on my own. So, when people like a visual can come in and you know help me do stuff and just be active to be active to be active to sign up and to be active and then not hold everybody up by you not being active and not catching up by her being able to be active, that is, that's what makes this community turn. That's, you know, that's what, that's what makes us go around because I can't be here every day. So the fact that she's, you know, I am here every day and that she is here every day and, and that that's how you should operate, not you a visual, but the person watching this, that's, that, that's how you should operate, that you should be here every day. And let me put this, Thing right here. Let me put it up at the top. That you should be there every day and you should be doing your job and that you should be treating it like a step so that you don't have to go to college to get a web developer job and so that you can, you know what I'm saying? That like, so that I don't have to hold your hand through the whole process that you'll like know, like I'll write the curriculum, I'll write the instructions, I'll write the blueprint and you just follow them. You show up that you show up, okay? That I take my time and do this and that you show up. And not even that you show up, but you show up and do the work. 
don't go off task. You know, I'm talking to people on YouTube that that's learning about what this community is. That's what your job is if you join this. That's what your job is. And that you don't waste people's time. You don't waste your time by not being an active member of your community that you are trying to be a part of. Because when you sign up for something that you pay for, you are an active member of it. But because it's free, people take advantage of it. But that's not gonna always be the case. Because I'm building it to where it's gonna be so vast and so great that that's not the case. So, so what I need you to do is your job of being active and being a, a citizen of W3 Develops, this global community, and getting these projects done and staying active and doing the coursework and the study groups and doing the projects and the cohorts. And, you know, if you know something that I don't know, I don't, I'm not asking you for money. If you know how to code and you know a little bit of PHP and this and that, if you have the time and you can, we can just talk and communicate with each other about it. Like me, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not a shy guy, but I, with, with tasks and stuff, I kind of, you know, I'm, I'm still learning on how to assign different people tasks and stuff because I'm not used to telling people what to do. I'm just an ordinary guy and, I, and I'm just kind of like, I've thrust myself for this position, right? So it's a learning process for me too, but I'm going through the birth pains and I'm just getting this done. And I don't mean no disrespect to women because I'll never understand what to give birth, but like for a dude that only knows HTML and CSS, like you guys, within the month, you can learn HTML and CSS. Within the next month, you can learn JavaScript. Within the next month, you can start learning React with your fellow developers. If you are an active member of your community, on a full-time, six-hour-a-day basis for free. You know, like, you can pay to go to a boot camp or you can stay home and do this with other people. It's your choice. That's what I'm building. That's what I'm offering you. The only thing I ask is that, you know, stay active. That, you know, if you have $5 and $10 to donate, you know, support us, you know? I'm not trying to force ads on you. I'm not affiliate marketing you. I'm not, I don't want your money. Keep your money, but it helps because this is what I'm doing. This is what we're doing for you. So that's not what it's about, but it's always appreciated. <laughs> we're not saying no, we're just saying I'm not trying to pressure you into it because I understand. I've given the free code camp a handful of times. I would have given more if I could have, but like, you know, I don't think I've yet to give the w, um, Mozilla Developer Network. I, I have to, uh, our profits are gonna, a, a portion of our profits are gonna go to it. But, um, like, cause I'm eventually gonna have to, I, I don't want it like, just like free code camp does. I don't want to have ads. I don't want ads on our YouTube videos and I don't want ads on our website. And I don't want, I don't want ads. It's not cool. It's not, you know, it's intrusive to me, but you know, if it gets to the point where I've been doing this all year, right. And I can't pay for the website domain, then like next year, it'll be like, all right, I have to get ads. Because, like, you know, I'm putting all my time and effort in here. I can't, I already put enough money in here. I can't put it all in. You know, if other people want to put their time and effort in with me, we can just get stuff done quicker. But, like, I've already, like, I have no more money to put in. Like, I've given it all. <laughs> so, I, now I'm just giving my time, giving my uh, code, my knowledge, my effort, and I'm helping you guys cross the finish line. That's why I do this. That's what I do this for. It's a long video, but if you want to learn what W3 Develops is, here I am. This is what it is. This is what we do. This is what it is. 
Sorry, introduction, I guess. Abyssal, thank you. So, hey, Abyssal, do you have any questions? I know you've been listening to me for a while. Um, no questions. No questions. Would you ask some questions? I, I, I would love, like, because, you know, you're kind of, like, newer here, too. Like, how long have you been in the community for? Um, since uh, February, I believe. So, two months ago. I do remember, yeah, you, you just came here recently. Yes. So, so um, what did you join? How, what, how did you find this and what did you join here for? You know what? I still, I'm still asking myself that question. How did I, <laughs> I don't know. I, um, so, yeah, so I did a Udacity uh, nano degree and I found you guys' link on one of our pages. Really? I be, I truly believe it was no uh what's her name? You uh the lady that we uh just did our work with today. Ramona? Yeah, I think it was her that left that link on the uh chat Whoa. room. That's so I know, cool. right? I really think so. And like I I wish she was here right now. I would love because she has she like she was the she was gold when it came to like yeah like, like she she I remember now that I think about it because like what like a newbie would want to know and like yeah she basically was like the information lady like every like do you know anything yeah she knows everything <laughs> so um I clicked on you guys' link your page came up and I was like oh my gosh I want to know do they pay like I mean no I can't ever get paid like do they charge do you remember this? I don't know. So I like signed up and I didn't really hear anything back for yeah. a while. So it was February because I like in May, January, February, well in March, we were doing the study group. And you know, like I just have so much on my plate. Like, look, I'm spending what like an hour or two doing this right here. So think of how much other stuff I have to do. And I think I like signed up back in like either late December or early January. I don't remember, but it, I know it was, I waited for a while and then all of a sudden I got a message from you. Okay. So it must've been like after we began in January. So Some, February. Yeah. cause after the fifth, cause we started the, at, we start on the first of every month. Okay. So after the fifth, if you sign up after the fifth, you have to wait till the next month. Right, 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 right. So I mean, that's what I did, and because or else I would be like just emailing like fifty to a hundred more people back, and it's ter it's me. Yeah, just me answering emails, and it's so like if I was to show you how many people apply, that's what I'm saying. Like that's why I want to figure out do the script thing for the main website so that we can figure out how to do that how to how to just automatically link people into groups mm -hmm. people automatically that way you don't have to wait on me mm -hmm. so if people want a better community uh for that they if you know php guys girls ladies gentlemen that are listening to this go ahead and uh you know help us out uh on facebook there, we actually have so yeah so all right so you found out and then what so you were in the february you were in the february or in the march cohort oh, or, february. Yeah, february. were you in the cohort or the study group um cohort so you know the difference between the cohort and the study group right yeah, we we're supposed to do a project we never really did it <laughs> yeah yeah I feel yeah we got we just got so busy after that just got slammed after that Mm -hmm. I had like one of my projects that I wanted to work on. I, I was I was teamed up with Adam, and like we were setting things up, and I I really hope that we actually do end up doing it because we agreed that it was really cool. Are you guys still talking to each other? I'm sorry. Are you guys all still talking to each other, like your team? Uh, well, we do. I don't know. We. It's been a while since anybody has updated. But, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, groups, but so. it's still there, though. I just leave them there because, you know, you guys might get better and just start doing stuff. Yeah. You know, I and that's why I just keep on adding more teams and more teams because, you know, somebody's going to make it. 
I just hope that I have my time. Weekly check-ins because I have so many other weekly stuff I have to do daily. Right. <laughs> so, like, once I actually get time to just – you see how much I have to do. Uh, yeah, I see. I see. But, um, once I, like, get some more stuff underway, like, I'll be able to help with you guys and the weekly check-ins more often. But besides that, like – I'm still just in the process of automating a bunch of stuff. And so basically in the group, if you want to check more about the script that I need to write or whatever I need to write to automate, like automatically put people that sign up for the forms in the groups based on their time and tier um, is right. I have to actually pin it again. Oh, here it is. I'm working on a project to automate the cohort and learning group. So yeah, I'm gonna make that announcement again. So I'm gonna make it excited. Oh, it is an announcement. So I could just went to the top. Yeah, you can click right. If you're on fa our Facebook group, you can click the announcements. One of the three announcements we have And it says right here, I'm working on a project at the moment and you can read that on your own, but automating the form responses, you know, uh, we can either do it with PHP and MySQL or we can do it with Firebase and JavaScript or however, if you know, however you know how to do it, if you could just help out doing that, that would alleviate a lot of uh, man work. There's people in there that have actually made comments already that know how to do it. Um, I have to hit them back. We should all like just talk to each other. But they're on the Facebook and I would probably have to get them to come on the Discord from Facebook. Uh, oh, cool. Elliot's on Facebook. I didn't know that. Um, so yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah. So that's all right. So what, what, so I was asking you, how did you find us? Then I asked you what you were doing. You were doing a cohort and now you're in a study group. So you were in a cohort in February and you're in a, now it's April 11th. So since about the 5th or 7th of April, you've been in the study group uh, for JavaScript. So how is that like, and it's been pretty much like you, me, and Ramona, um, yeah. and Tim, and Tim, and, uh, and our study group. And then Tamari has his over there in California. And then from uh, 5 to 11, and I have, and then Elliot has his from. Yeah. I mean. All across the world, all across the world, once we get the script down that can get that going. So there's a study group every hour, every three hours or so. <laughs> You know, there's different time, like at different times, like so at one o'clock here, it'll be like their time there, but there will be like a study group starting at every hour for like three hours or six hours. Yes, very soon we're going to be having something like that going on. And we're going to be just busy bees. So, all right, what happened now? So, so as a newbie, to like so that now you're we're so now you and me we're in the study group in April. And we're going through JavaScript and stuff like that. So how this is your first study group. So it's going to be fun for you to learn. You're getting caught up on how to do a study group and stuff. So like other questions like on W3 development like that, you know, just, you know, something. What do you think? Um, well, I, well, I'm still exploring other study groups because I mean, like I, I have done, some, I have been studying the Elliot in the morning, um, for, yeah, for about about a month now, maybe about a month. We just got derailed a little bit, but but other than that, just uh, I really like the sense of community here. Um, it's just uh, people are just so like we all have like 
similar mindset we know where to go like it's just really interesting that as i got here i started attracting more business-minded folk because i know that that's just something that i've been it has been weighing in my heart for a bit uh, you know doing the whole you know, corporate thing it's cool but like that's not my end goal and it's really nice to see that there are other people out there who support this and like they it's not like a passive kind of, oh, you be okay. It's kind of like, okay, let's learn this now so that we can set this up and, uh, you know, we can succeed like later on. What can we do right now to learn what we need to do? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's awesome. It's nice. It's nice. Um, I'm learning how to, uh, deal with uh you know how to yeah how to you know keep moving with uh language barrier especially from you know with our friends from uh <laughs> you know places that have uh thicker accents and stuff so <laughs> um so also you're an intern at w3 develops too like when you the study group was it month did you make yourself an intern like i told everybody like if you guys are doing these study groups if you guys are doing like i didn't tell the cohort guys that but i told everybody with the st like study groups like um to just make yourselves interns and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Right? uh so yeah elliot uh looked over my uh my stuff like as i was like as i was i was applying for a job then and he was like this will make you look stronger and uh that's what i did and all of a sudden some people in my network came up asking me well did you change jobs <laughs> and i was like no i didn't I'm just, you know, <laughs> oh on linkedin yeah um some of my uh friends and stuff they're like did you you know did you change uh did you change your job or something and i'm like no i'm just moving to a new direction now so um it's nice. It's nice to see that um, I'm getting some attention. <laughs> Serious. That's what it's about, you know. That's what we want around here. We want everybody to be successful around here, cause that's how we roll. Like that, you know. We want we want the best in success for everybody. That's our. That's my goal for you guys. That's my goal for this group and for this community um yeah so like you know you, once you guys join a study group and you guys are in here and stuff go make yourself an intern at w3 develops if you can a cohort and complete a project as a cohort not a study group as a cohort you can also put yourself as an intern but not until you complete the project that you said you're going to build you're doing a study group, you're finishing projects, you're finishing stuff. We finish stuff all day, every day. That's why that's why I don't that's why I don't stress them. But with the cohorts, it's different. It's like you guys are kind of like, you know, on your own, not having meetups every day and stuff like that. But you guys are still building every day, which is you know, building or building here, you know, maybe not every day, but building. Yeah, but um, it's cool. Uh, inspire me to uh, do the 100 day challenge. So I'm in day two. Oh, yeah. Official. I know I've been doing like the, I've been, I've been coding for a while, but I've officially claimed that I'm doing the 100 day challenge. So it's exciting. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I mean, you know, like, I don't really know what else to say. Like, I saw that's what the community is. And if you're, this is your first time seeing what we're about, welcome. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Come join the Discord. You know, if, you, if you're on the other social medias we have, go ahead and join them, especially Facebook. You know, go tweet about us on Twitter. Tweet your progress on Twitter. You know, we want... We want you to get out there. Go on LinkedIn. 
and um, join our group. You know, we have a group and uh, join a study group and join a um, cohort so that you guys can, you know, be an intern, you know, and then I'm also going to have internships here too, where I'm going to be throwing you guys jobs to get money. Like, once I get all this stuff set up, the money's going to come for y'all. Y'all just got to, you know, and then once the money comes, you guys are already making money, learning development. I mean, come on, that's, that's, mo that's money in the bank and that's experience in the portfolio. You know, I can show y'all how to make portfolios and resumes and all this other stuff. I just, I gotta have the time. I gotta, you gotta get this done. Like the more eyes on the code, the better. And right now on a lot of this code is just two. So I need you. Yo, peace out YouTube, peace out Periscope, peace out Instagram, Discord, everything, man. W3 develops, peace out. I love y'all. So, um, thank you so much for recording this. If you would stop um, recording on Zoom now and stop recording on um, OBS, I think we're done here. And again, thank you guys so much. Uh, W3 develops. This is what we do it for. I'm the founder, Jonathan Jackson. I'm doing this for y'all. This is y'all's community. I'm building it for y'all. Quit my job, come here, do this for y'all. So I wanna see everybody succeed. Everybody gotta eat. Peace.